Hello, I am Dr. Azhar Alam, Consultant GI, Advanced Laparoscopic and Laser Surgeon. And today we are going to discuss ways in which cancer can be prevented. So studies suggest that up to half of the total cancers are preventable if we take the definitive measures. So what are the measures with which we can prevent cancer? Firstly, weight. Maintaining an ideal body weight is essential to prevent any sort of cancer. People who are obese, who have a higher BMI, who have a higher body weight are more prone to developing cancers. Second, diet. So it is recommended that two thirds of whatever you eat should be plant based and your red meat and in general uh, non-vegetarian items should be decreased and the content of fiber in your diet should be increased. So a healthy diet definitely plays a major role in preventing cancer. Activity. A sedentary lifestyle has a higher risk of causing cancer. So what do we need to do? We need to perform regular exercise, have an active and healthy lifestyle, a minimum of 30 minutes of exercise per day for five days. That is the recommendation for maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Tobacco smoking or cigarette smoking is one of the major causes of a number of cancers. So now there are two types of smoking. One when a person actively smokes and second which is secondhand smoke of passive smoking. Both are risk factors for cancer. So if you are a non-smoker, try to avoid inhaling smoke for, from others around you. And if you are an active smoker, it's never too late to stop smoking. So stop smoking today because smoking is a risk factor for a number of cancers. Vaccination. So taking certain vaccines have shown to prevent cancers. For example, hepatitis B vaccination. So if you are completely vaccinated with hepatitis B vaccination, then you are safe from the hepatocellular cancer caused by hepatitis B virus. Similarly, HPV vaccination, that is human papilloma virus. So HPV virus is known to cause cervical cancer, anal cancer, oral cancer, oropharyngeal cancer. So HPV immunization is known to prevent these form of cancers. The next way to prevent cancers is avoiding prolonged skin exposure to sun. Prolonged exposure to sunlight, tanning are known risk factors for cancer. So what you need to do is to avoid direct contact with sunlight for prolonged periods of time. And in case you have a job which prevents you from doing this, use, a, use an SPF greater than 30 to prevent these cancers. Next is family history. A lot of people have a history of cancer in their family. So in such groups, it is advisable to go for early uh, detection methods, early investigations, and to be cautious regarding the cancers which were there in their history, in the family. So if you have a family history of cancer, then you have to be extra careful and go for routine checkups as advised by your, by your doctor. And finally, screening. So basically what is screening? Screening is when you try to investigate for a cancer when symptoms have not yet developed. So screening helps to identify cancers in population where there is a higher risk but where cancer has not yet developed or where symptoms have not yet developed. For example, two very common methods of screening are mammography for breast cancer and colonoscopy for gastric cancer. So these are the common ways in which we can prevent cancer. And another small tip is that often we have some minor symptoms which we ignore thinking it's something very trivial. But in case you have any symptom which does not resolve or which is becoming worse, please visit your doctor and get evaluated at the earliest. Thank you.